Now here we have some division questions, and it's really important to understand that division can be two different things. It can be grouping, so putting things into groups, or it can be sharing. Here we're going to look at grouping. So for our first question, we have 12 divided by 4. If we're grouping, what this question means is how many groups of 4 can we make from 12? So here we have 12 counters. We can make one group of 4, a second group of 4, and a third group of 4. So because we can make 3 groups, our answer is 3. Now we have 20 divided by 5. So we have 20 counters. How many groups of 5 can we make from 20 counters? We can make 1, 2, 3, 4 groups, so our answer is 4. Now we have 18 divided by 2, so we have 18 counters. How many groups of 2 can we make? We can make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups, so our answer is 9. Now one way to divide is to count from the number that we're dividing by to the number that we're dividing, so counting from our divisor to our dividend. Counting in fours we have 4, 8, 12, and because we made 3 jumps of 4, we know that our answer is 3. Notice division problems can be read backwards as multiplications, so 12 divided by 4 is 3, because 3 times 4 is 12. Now for 20 divided by 5, we could count in steps of 5 until we get to 20. So counting in 5s, we have 5, 10, 15, 20. So altogether we've made 4 jumps of 5 to get to 20, so that's why our answer is 4. 20 divided by 5 is 4, because 4 times 5 is 20. And then we had 18 divided by 2, and what we can do is count in steps of 2 until we get to 18. We can count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So altogether we've made 9 jumps so our answer is 9. 18 divided by 2 is 9, because 9 times 2, 9 groups of 2, make 18.